Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part two of Inscription. Now in the previous video, we made it all the way up to the Prospector boss. We actually beat him first try, but then we died to him on our second try. If you don't know what this game is, guys, you're gonna have to watch part one because it's way too much to explain. But to summarize, we're basically stuck in this creepy cabin, and it's kind of like an escape room. We've got to find a way out of a cabin. And to do that, it seems like we have to beat a series of bosses and different card games against this guy wearing a mask that sits across the table from us. So let's just dive right in and continue from where we left off. Okay, so here we are back on the board again. Now, one thing to note guys is that I won't be showing you every battle and every situation we get into in this playthrough. What I want this video to be about is reaching the end of a board if we can, and so to do that I'm just going to show you relevant information. Any secrets we unlock, any new encounters such as boss encounters we come across that we didn't cover in part 1, and of course any story information we uncover along the way. So with that said guys, this video is probably going to be several hours for me, but I'm going to condense it into roughly an hour's worth of content for you guys and hopefully we can find a way to escape this creepy cabin. I want to find a way to get this caged wolf free. I want to be able to get this dagger. I want to find a way into the cuckoo clock here as well. Okay, let's get started uh, with our playthrough then. Sit down at this table and let's get going. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings and then gestured at them. Okay, so it looks like we get to choose a perk. Ooh, nice. Maybe we choose this one. This is where, where we hit left and right in one turn. There we go. That's pretty cool. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The bifurcated strike sigil will now be marked upon all of your squirrel creatures. That caged wolf, he hid that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. Okay, the caged wolf. Wait, the caged wolf, guys. There's a caged wolf in this cabin. So I think what we have to do is get this card to be smashed and then it might free the caged wolf in the cabin somehow because that looks exactly like the caged wolf we saw in the cabin. I'm taking those out. And I'm putting the caged wolf down there, guys. I'm going to get the caged wolf to be attacked until, you know, it's basically dead. And hopefully that frees the wolf that's in the room. Uh, so let's play our turn. There we go. In between turns, we'll just put down this. He's freed, yes. Yes, it worked. And now we've got a wolf. What was that? Okay, so now we can finish this guy and then we can go and check out if that wolf's been freed in the room. Which I think it has. Take another card. Let's do it. Look at this. We're going to get so many teeth for this. So many extra teeth. Nice. All right. Now, immediately, I'm going to go and check if that wolf's been freed. And I think it has. Yes, it has. Look. It's broken the wolf cage. So that was a puzzle. Basically, we had the caged wolf card. It got broken. Now the wolf is out of its cage here. And now we can just pop it on these scales and get the knife. And that's that puzzle done. Look at this. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish that you hadn't. I'll be the judge of that, my guy. Okay, I don't know what we do with a dagger, but either way, let's sit back down at the table and continue. So the special dagger says, to the user, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary, so this dagger's going to cut something. Let's check it out. I'm kind of scared. Oh, wait, is it doing... Is he taking his eye out? He's literally putting his eyeball on the scales, that's insane. This game is really weird. Yeah, there we go, that's an easy win. Believe it or not, you're not the first one to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Ooh, okay. So we actually get to replace our eye. <gasps> Look at this one. What the heck? We can see secret messages. Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Ooh, okay. Regardless of choice is final. Um, okay. So this is giving us a clue back to the Cuckoo Clock. And we actually had a second compartment on the Cuckoo Clock. And look, yeah, now we can actually see the hands that we need to access on the Cuckoo Clock to get to the second compartment. So I guess we turn them until they match. And this one goes at the top. Yes. 
Stunted wolf, take for film roll before he sees it. Now, okay, let's grab it. What are you up to over there? So we've got a film roll for the camera that he takes our picture with. So now I bet we're going to be able to actually, like, take a picture of him, take a picture of this guy instead, and escape. And that's how we're going to escape the cabin. So do we need to just die again and then do that? I don't know. That's cool though, so it was worth losing our eye. We're gonna play on now guys, and uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you when there's something relevant to show again. Okay, let's go here. I ought to thank you. How, how has it been? It's been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat in the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here, they already hold the key. This game story is so cool. So we hold the key, I guess he's talking about the film that we just got, the film reel. So that's the key to our escape, like we said. And these guys are in on it. This has happened before. This is like a cycle. It keeps happening. Interesting. You took the film roll? Is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth, but you must defeat him first. Okay, so we have to defeat this guy across the table from us for as long as it takes so we can use the film reel. So we've got to go all the way across the map, we can't just die, we've got to actually defeat him guys, as it says on the card there, defeat him first. Okay, draw another card. So you found the stunted wolf. I have seen this play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. So that's really cool, so basically all these cards know each other, like the Stinkbug, the Wolf, the Stoat, they all know each other. And this Stinkbug is basically saying make haste because, you know, she has seen this plan play out before it seems. So it's all connected up and I think we're going to see something kind of cool happen if we can pull this off, if we can pull this like escape plan off. But we'll just have to keep playing and see where the story goes, I guess. You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. So another character behind a mask. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? I think we've only got one. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade any of these, take your time. Oh, nice. I'll definitely take the mantis. These pelts are most excellent, my thanks. Nice. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to see if I can use the mantis card on any of our other cards. Please say that we can. Yes, we can offer up the mantis card. Sweet. Oh man, we can actually use it with... The wolf card. That would be really good. Here we go. So now the wolf will attack three damage each way, so it will do a, a grand total of six. And now it's time to face the boss again. Let's see if we can do him this time. Okay, here we go, the prospect to boss again. Let's see if we can get him on this go, guys. This guy has been irritating me, to say the least. It's time to show him who's boss. Here he is, coming out to play once again. And we've got a squirrel, which can be transformed into something better straight away. I'm going to put down our squirrel here. And I'm also going to put down our smoke card here. Let's do it. Nice, got some bones there. Right, let's put down another squirrel here. And I guess... Maybe put down our raven egg there and then our stink bug. Actually, I'm not going to put down the stink bug yet. Let's go. Right, 
right. Raven, nice. We've got a raven. It can fly. That's really good. So now I'm going to put down the stink bug here. We're going to leave it as that for now. Ooh, this is going well. Problem is, oh no, because we had the adder. That's a shame. That is a shame, guys. But it's all, it's all good. We can put down a porcupine here and play on. Oh, this is very close. It's very, very close. Put down another squirrel. Let's keep playing. Just need to pop that mule, and we have. And we now we get all the bonus cards. Yes, look, we got some really cool cards there. And now we've snuffed out one of his lights, so it's phase two already. There's gold in those cards. He's going to change all our cards into gold, which is really annoying. But there we go. That's how it has to go, I suppose. Gold, I struck gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got a magpie. Mm, what do we want to take here? We've already got two squirrels there. I'm going to take a, a risk. I'm going to take a different card. Greetings. Oh, nice. We've got a wolf. Let's go. Get them. They take those cards. Bullfrog. Okay. Tell you what I'll do then. Put down a squirrel there. And a squirrel here. Then. Hmm. Put down the stunted wolf card here. Here we go. And then. Put down this monster. I'm going to use this monster. I don't know what it is. Like, look. It's like a sea monster. I'm going to put him down here. Let's play. There we go. I guess I'll take another squirrel. And we'll hit this. And play on. Oh, we've almost beat him. Guys, we've almost got Prospector. I'll take a random card this time. Boss time, eh? Yep, it is boss time. And I'm going to put the stoke down here. And let's go. Deal some damage. I think we've beat him. Yes, we got the prospector, finally. We're finally past the first boss again. So we're making progress now. Let me relight your candles. Excellent. We'll move on to the second world now, guys. Very well, he says. You may choose a rare card. Ooh, nice. So what are we going to have here? Mantis God. Oh, so he attacks in all three different places. So he does three hits per go. Don't know what that does. Huh. The Amorphous Amoeba. Its sigils are ever-changing. See, that could be useful. I think I want the Mantis God, though. That looks really cool. Hopefully we can upgrade that as well. After the harrowing encounter with a prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. So first we get to pick a card. We're in the swamps again, of course. In the wetlands. Did I do that? <laughs> so yeah, he's he doesn't know about this card. So it seems like some of these cards have been created without the knowledge of the masked man we're like sat opposite. I think I'm gonna take... What does this do? This is all inky, we can't see. Hmm, that could actually be a good one to have. But I think I'm going to take another Mantis. It's always good to have Mantises. Okay. The Blood Goat. I'm going to take another Squirrel. Oh no, you can't use that. What the heck is this? It's like a bottle of slime. Failure. To be used and nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. Yeah, I'm not going to risk. It, it, there's a chance this might do something, but it looks pretty sorrowful. I'm not going to use that. I think I'll take the pliers. Let's keep it going, I guess. Right, so he's got another power here. Let's see what we can do. Two Bs. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I've got a raven egg. I'm going to put my raven egg down here. And then... 
I'm just gonna play around and see how it goes. Okay, the raven is out. I'm gonna put a squirrel down here for protection. In fact, maybe I'll put a bald frog down here. There we go. Let's see what it does. I don't know what this is doing. The creature opposing a card bearing this sigil loses one power. Yeah, so the bald frog's got no power now. That's great. So he's not going to be any use to us. Oh no, the mantis. This isn't good. Elder Squirrel, okay. Let's see if I can place this down here. He's lost one power, but he's still going. There we go. Man, this is getting hard. Gonna have to put down a squirrel here. Let's try it. Come on. This is a, a crazy battle right here. I'm going to take this squirrel card, put it there and have a another go. Hopefully we can win this. Come on, yes, we did it. There we go, nice. Onward and upward. Show me some exquisite pelts. Do we have any pelts? I think we have a, a couple, don't we? Hair pelts. Ooh. So what do we trade for? Well, we could get an elk. That could be good. Or the raven. The raven could actually be really good. I think I'm going to get the raven. Let's do that. Oh, and we've got a wolf pelt as well. So we can get something really souped up here. I'm going to choose the moose buck because it evolves after like one turn. It'll be super powerful. Have my gratitude, nice. Thank you very much for your cards, because I think they're going to help us, like, big time. Uh, let's go to this one here, I guess. Flip the cards. I'll take one that requires bones. Cockroach requires four bones. Okay. I think that does have the, like, one-hit kill on it, though, which is really good. It's time to upgrade a card. So what do we want to sacrifice? I might actually put in the Mantis and give its uh, power to a more powerful card. What would be the best one? Like the Raven, maybe? Because that's got an attack of two. Yeah, let's do the Raven. That should upgrade it quite nicely. So now it does four damage. Two each way, I suppose. Let's keep going. Right, squirrel. <laughs> nice top deck. So we have got our moose buck, raven, stoat, and squirrel. We'll put down the squirrel to begin with. And we'll play around. There we go. We're going to start to lose some cards to begin with, but that's fine. So now, we'll take care of these two. Put the raven down there. And play around. There we go, nice. We're clawing it back. So I'll take another squirrel. Pop that there. Pop the stoke down here. And let's go. I think we've done it. Nice. That was a good play. That was really good. I'm happy with that. Look, we've got the boss coming up as well. I haven't even faced this boss yet. So we could have bug, bird, or reptile. Hmm. I'll go with bird. 
Raven, nice. Raven's good. I'll take that. Okay, guys, we're getting really close to fighting this boss now. Our last stop to upgrade our cards. So what do we want to upgrade? Oh, the Mantis God hits three ways. We'll take that then. And we'll apply that to... I guess for Raven a game, that could be really good. Oh, the Cockroach. Hasn't the Cockroach got like a death sigil? When a card bearing this sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Oh no. I'm going to put it on the Raven. Basically, we're using... We're getting more health and more power with that attack power that way. Right, guys, here we go. The second boss. It's time to face it. We finally got to it. This one's got a fishing hook. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. Oh man. He says, I am the angler, go fish. Okay, let's face the angler then. Oh, look at all this fish hanging up. Okay, so what have we got? We've got porcupine, bullfrog, raven egg and squirrel. And he's got just a kingfisher so far. So we're going to sacrifice that and put down our raven egg. And play a hand. Which fish? Hard to choose. He's going to try and rob our card. Screw that. Don't know what to do here. I'm going to put down a squirrel. Fresher fish. Easy choose. Ah, oh, see, he goes for the, the, the latest one we put down. On that basis, I'm going to let him capture the squirrel and keep Raven on the board. So there we go. Still taking damage, but I'm just going to let him take that squirrel first. Mine now. Go fish. Okay. Let's pop another squirrel down. And... Guess put the porcupine down here, maybe. Play another row. There we go. Nicely done. Almost got him, actually, already. He seems easier, this guy, than the prospector. Hmm, stale fish, hard choose. Doesn't seem very uh, literate, though. I'm going to just dupe him with a squirrel card so he catches that. Because he says, easy choice, and he goes for the squirrel card. And now we can attack him again. Look at that. We've already got him. Phase one done. Okay, what's he going to do for phase two? Go fish. Bait bucket he's put down. We've got a raven. Nice. Okay. So we need two sacrifices for that. I'm going to take down the squirrel and the porcupine. I'm going to put raven down. This doesn't have any attack power, so I'm not actually going to attack these. Because if we don't attack these, then we're always going to have them just left there and he can't send any other cards down. Kind of dumb, isn't it? But he even has that card. There we go. Boom, we did it. That was easy. So that's boss two down, guys. Need a light? Yes, I do. That's it. Light my candle, baby. And here we go. Your reward. What is he going to give us now? A rare card? Yep. Long elk. I have no words for this freak of nature. Or an amoeba. Hmm. When a card bearing this sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. I'm taking the, the elk, then. And into the world free next. You consider one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odour deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. On we go then. Nice. We're making good progress this episode, guys. I just hope I don't die. A frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You have ascended to the snow line. Ooh. A new map. Look at this creature in the cave. Let's head over to that first. I want to see what this is all about. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. <laughs> That's kind of creepy where he just goes into the cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours. In a raspy voice. 
It spoke again. First, you will choose a trial. The trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The trial of bones. The three drawn cards must cost at least five bones combined to pass. Or the trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. Well, I'll easily go with that one then. If there's three cards, it would be very unlucky if we didn't get at least four attack damage. But let's see what it gives us. Let the trial begin. We've already done it, I think. Two from Raven, one from Raven Egg, two from the Stunted Wolf. You have passed the trial. Nice. So what do we get? The beast revealed itself. It was. Ooh, nice. Look at the bear. So this is an insta-kill bear. I'm having that. That's amazing. The inhibited grizzly joined your menagerie. Okay, so we can go to either the backpack or we can go to the upgrade stone. I actually think we're going to go to the upgrade stone, guys. I'm going to push my luck and go to there rather than the backpack. I'm going to put down the long elk because that's like a death card. And then I'm going to infuse it with... Wait, imagine infusing it with a cockroach. So the cockroach becomes a death card and it will return to our hand each time it dies. That could be a genius manoeuvre. I think I'm going to do that. Look at that. That's a really cool card to have. Now the cockroach with the uh, death infused onto it. So now we're going to head to the next battle. Right, first of all, what's he got? I need to see what he's got. Oh, he's got three elk fawns. Okay. So we're going to want to kill these quick. Squirrel first then. Stoke can go down here to begin with. That's one. We need basically, um, if we get the cockroach, we need to have, I think, like four of these bone coins. So we'll start off with that one. Hopefully we'll pull the cockroach soon. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll put the squirrel down here. We'll play on once again. Oh no, they've changed into more powerful things now though. I have got an idea here though, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the squirrel down here, and then you see, now I can summon the grizzly bear. So I can put the grizzly down, like... Actually, we'll kill the stoat as well. Grizzly down here. And then we'll put a stink bug down here. And we'll go for it. Hopefully this works. Oh man, it's so even. It's like even Stevens. I think we'll be okay though. If we put the squirrel down here, that will guard us from the attack of the... Uh, fawn, and then we just keep hitting with the grizzly. Nice. Got another card up there now. What's that? A pronghorn or something? I don't know what that means. It's just like a deer or something. Just call it a deer, you know? Right, let's go for it. We should win now. Yes, look at that. Extra teeth. Nice. I love the uh, combat in this game. It's really rewarding, but it's really scary because I know that if I die, you know, we have to start over again. So, I think we want to head for this rucksack here. But also, it could be good to head this way, I'm not sure. I'm going to head for a rucksack. First we get to select a new card. I'm going to have... I'm going to go for the moose buck again. Nothing wrong with multiples or something that good. And now we've got the backpack. The pitiful opossum. It's like a frozen possum. Uh, I'll go with... I don't know. The bones, I guess. Maybe the opossum, just to take it. I don't know what it does. Another round of combat. Okay, what cards you got, my friend? We've got the cockroach this time, so that's really good. As long as we can get four bones to use it, we can use a cockroach. Uh, first of all, we'll put down the squirrel. 
actually, I'll use this as well. I don't know what the frozen opossum does, but I'm going to use it. We'll find out, I guess. Could also use the porcupine, actually. Put that down there. Right, let's do it. Man, he's got loads of elks this time. Okay, so our porcupine is going to take out these elks as they attack it. Put down another squirrel. Sacrifice the squirrel, put down the bulldog, uh, bullfrog, not bulldog, bullfrog. And let's have another go. This is going well. Apart from that, guy's turned into an elk, which isn't good. We'll soon find out what that opossum card actually does. I draw one of these. A raven egg. Ooh. Could be good to have a raven egg, actually. Yeah, I'll get rid of a bullfrog for now, and I'll put a raven egg down. And let's go. This is going to be a very close victory if we do win. How many things do we have now? We've got three. Okay, so we'll take another squirrel. We can't sacrifice a squirrel yet is the only problem. So we can't summon the cockroach. We're so close to winning though. Oh yeah, it changes into an opossum. Nice. Well, we might as well just win then. I think we've uh, pretty much assured our victory now. Yep, there we go, one bite. Wow, there's so many teeth that actually spilled out of a bowl that time. So now we've got to go to the cave. So another trial in the caves. I quite like these because they're like a guessing game. Um, the trial of kin. Two of three drawn cards must be kin to pass. The trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. And the trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. I'm going to take the risk and go for blood. Let the trial begin. <laughs> oh no, we lost. Only three blood. Oh, that's a shame. Failure. Oh well. Now we've got to go to the campfire. Right, let's see what we can afford to lose if we have to lose something. You know what, the bullfrog, I don't ever really use it. So if it does get stolen, it's not you know a big deal. Sorry, Mr. Bullfrog, but... We're going to take the risk here. Keep it right there, said one survivor. The creature could become more powerful. But the survivors looked hungry by the second. Push your luck or pull it away. I'm going to pull it away. The power of the bullfrog was enhanced by their warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, he withdrew. So we actually escaped with our bullfrog card, so that's good. The gamble paid off. So I don't know what this symbol does. I want to go to this one, because I think this is good. Oh yeah, this is where we get to select, like, a perk. So what perks are we going to get? Ooh, what's this one? When a card bearing this sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Definitely have that. And let's put that on here. Nice. So that'll give us an extra fighting chance each round. Without another word, the woodcarver has gone. Right, so let's face the boss then, I guess. Here we go. Who's this going to be? A man stood before you, a man you recognised immediately. It was the Trapper. You reach out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Oh, that's not good. We've got knives floating. What cards is it going to give us? Moosebuck, Raven and Wolf Cub. Nice. He's got these strange frogs, but they look like traps. And then one is a leaping trap. Are these going to turn into into traps eventually? Is that what it's trying to tell us? They still do one damage apiece, so we do need to take care of them. Uh, let's put down... I guess a worker ant, maybe? I don't know. Let's just try it. They have two damage as well. They have two health damage. Right, let's try using our raven then. Putting him in there. And having a go with that. This is tough. Well, 
Wait, can the traps actually do any damage? No, the traps can't do any damage. So as long as we take care of the strange frogs, then the traps won't actually do any damage afterwards. The problem is I've got a raven here, so it's automatically going to atta attack the uh, traps to the left and right. Okay. Let's just keep going. I'm going to put down a squirrel here. Put down, I guess we'll put down a worker on actually. That could be good. And... We've got four bones there. I don't know if... We haven't got any cards that can use bones. For now. We've almost got him though. Apart from now he's got an elk, which isn't good. Right, I'm putting the squirrel down here. Screw it, I'll just put a work rant down here. That's all I can do. In fact, I'll take out the work rant and I'll put down the wolf cup here. Now let's play on. This might be our ace up the sleeve. Now he's turned into wolf, good. Just as I had intended there. Put down the work rant, here we are. I think we've almost done it. This could work, this could work. Now, I hate when you can hear him like tearing flesh while we're playing this, by the way. Put down the squirrel. Put down the worker ant. And let's go. Come on, we've got this. I'm just gonna keep putting down these worker ants. going well. The only issue is he's getting more powerful cards as we go as well. Let's go. We might be able to do this, you know. Got a raven egg as well. Let's put the raven egg down here. Nice. We've done it. That's phase one complete. So, we move on to phase two. Exquisite pelts. The cycle must continue. So what's his second phase going to be? Let's trade. Right. So we get to take cards from him. Powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. So we've got to be really careful here, guys. We've got to pick, basically, the cards that we don't want him to have. So I'm going to take the cards that have the most health and most damage. First of all, we'll take the grizzly off his hands straight away. Then we'll take the moose buck. How many, I mean, like, how much do we have? We've got... We've got two more wolf pelts to choose from, so we can take two more cards. The adder could be a good one. Because it doesn't cost much and it kills something in one hit. So I think I'm going to take the adder and then I think I'm going to take... The, the other grizzly. Maybe. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. I would have chosen differently. Probably would have, because you probably know I'm going to win now. Okay, let's do this. Pop down a squirrel. And now, let's see what we can use. Grizzly bear needs three, Adder needs two. I'm gonna leave it for now. I don't think we can do anything else. We don't have any cards that like require bones, unfortunately. Oh, we actually did it in one go. No way. We actually took him out in one hit. That's insane. <laughs> no strategy needed that time. I was just caught talking for no reason. Your lives are restored. Thank you very much. Look at this. Choose carefully. So we've got some cards to pick from and very easily it's going to be this one. Like I don't even have to think about it. Seven health, seven damage. With the enigmatic trapper and trader now bleeding in the snow, you, persi you persisted. 
You can see a light in the distance. The end is near. We're gonna find the cabin finally. The cabin we're now trapped inside. Hmm, oh yes, I know. And here we are, look, we're in the area of the cabin. Oh, we've got scissors. Let's go with the scissors. Nice. Always good to have a pair of scissors because we can cut any of their cards if we need to. Let's head inside the cabin. It says your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travails. What's happening? This is creepy. All the lights are out. Wait, what? We're it. We're in the forest. We've gone onto the board directly. That's really weird. Oh my god, that is weird. Giant hand ahoy. Steps away from the strange cabin, you were presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveller. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. Okay. The trial of the winged. The three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil. The trial of rarity. The three drawn cards must include a rare card. The trial of the finned. The three drawn cards must include a card with a waterborne sigil. I'll go with a rare sigil. I've got a rare card or two, I know that. Let the trial of rarity begin. Let's hope we pull it though. Not a single rare card, no! Failure! We will repeat that once more. The trial of a ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. Well, we've got a ring. We got a ring from the cuckoo clock. So let's just go with that one. Let the trial of a ring begin. Oh, you're wearing a fine ring. You will pass, of course. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them. The boon of ambidextrous, you may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. The boon of bone lord, you will start a battle with eight bones. Or the boon of a magpie's eye, when you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in the deck to draw. That's tempting, but I'm going to go with ambidextrous, as we only get to choose one. So we're a little bit handicapped, guys. We didn't get both boons, but we'll make do with what we've got. Oh, okay, that's weird. That is a little strange. You managed to get a boon. This may be a fair competition. All right, let's go into the cabin. Here he is again. Oh, is this like his true form? This is what hides behind the mask. No wonder he wears a mask all the time and like hides in the shadows. He looks like a tree person. You took your time out there and I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Looks like it, I guess. So if you don't get much of a choice, I hope you are adequately prepared. All right, here we go. Perhaps one more to be safe. What? No, don't add another candle. That's cheating. We've got to defeat him three times instead of two. Look, he's got all the different boss masks floating around his face as well. This isn't good. This basically means he can take on the form of any boss, I think. Alright, I'll put down... Let's see what he's got. Mantis Guard and Mole Man. Let's put down the smoke there, and the squirrel there, and we'll put down the stunted wolf here. I'll put the stunted wolf down here actually, because I don't want that mantis god attacking me. In fact, I'll put down the worker ant here, and we get some bones going straight away. Let's do it. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, we get to pick two cards. Right, I'm going to put down two squirrels. And 
and I'm gonna get a grizzly bear summoned. And here we go. Let's do it. Nice. Oh no! The prospects have changed them into gold. They were two of our best cards. Alright, that's really bad. I forgot he was gonna do that. This is not going well. Let's see what cards we've got coming up. A mantis god. And a oh, that looks like an ant, a giant ant thing. I'm gonna put the porcupine down here to protect us from that. And we're gonna play on. All stale, hard to choose. Yeah, you take that one. Okay. I'm going to take a few squirrels. We've got a lot of work rants now. I'm going to put a work rant down here. And a work rant down here. I don't know if this is going to work. But there we go. Man, this is really weird. I don't know what we're going to do, guys. Okay, he's got a new... Oh my god, he's put down like the most powerful thing. I'm just going to have to take a risk here. Right, Raven. Put that down there. Let's see, what damage do my ants have? Not a lot. Let's do it. I think we've done it. I think we've done the first phase. Nice. Okay, so that card went. I'm so glad that didn't get down to us because that would have wiped us. You cap you capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but coloured by guilt. They were betraying you. Oh no, my previous cards! And that one is super OP. I remember that one fondly. That was my really good card, guys, from the first episode, and that's going to wreck us. I don't know what to do here. I'm going to just draw two of these for now, two squirrels. And... Hopefully we can get through this. Trade for what you can, but no... But no this, the rest will stay and fight for me. I'm going to take the Super Horrorbro card then, 100%. Um, because he's so overpowered. Well, that's actually easy then. We've now got the Super Horrorbro Mike card. I will just put down... Take two of these. Oh my god, and we got... We got this, the Uriali or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. I can't pronounce that word, but we've got that. Um, this is amazing. Okay, we're going to put a squirrel down there. And we're going to put... Um... A squirrel down here, and then we're actually gonna put the raven down because this is gonna be nuts. Put the raven down here, and then I don't think we've got anything else we can use. We got Super Horror Bro Mike back. I'm so happy. This guy's wrecked now. Watch this. Yes, the second candle is out. Screw you. <sighs> yes, we beat him. Apart from he's got one candle still. He says this damned moon. It's dramatic, yes? But it proves no value to my board. I wonder. What the heck? He took a picture of a moon? He captured the moon, destroyed it. Now that is value. What the heck? He's literally put the moon down. It's got one damage but 40, 40 health, what? What does this do? A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. So basically for each space it takes one hit so that does four damage each turn. A card bearing this sigil will block opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Okay. 
At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing residual will pour small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. Oh no, so we can't have any small creatures down. Okay, what can we do then? Great draw. We've got the stink bug draw. Well, we've got loads of bones, so I'm actually going to use the stink bug and put her here. Let's have a go. Nice. Oh, wait! Guys! Yeah, what is this? Weakening my moon with the stinky sigil. I've just realised the stinky sigil actually takes a damage point off it, so now it can't damage us. So we've actually just, like, cheesed the game. It makes no sense. It makes perfect sense. Moons do not have a sense of smell. This is not how I imagined this battle going. Well, you're screwed now, aren't you? Let's take two more cards. This is We're just going to absolutely murk it now. Uh, I don't know if we've got anything, like, with any higher health that we can put down for now. I'm just going to put the ball frog down because it's got more damage and just let these guys go at it now. It literally can't do anything now. So let's just keep going, I guess. I can't even take any cards. Out of your cards? I'm sorry, I'll attempt to hasten your demise. Well, you're not hastening anything. I guess we just keep playing. Just keep hitting this moon. It can't do anything now. Oh, it can actually. It's got a health point back. That's okay. Do you know why? Because I have the Super Horror Bro Mike card. And I'm happy to sacrifice these two to lay it down. Super Horror Bro Mike's going to fittingly end this boss fight. Here we go. Nice. You really destroyed the moon? I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. Yep, there we go. Nice. We really did finish him off as well. Beautiful. So what happens now? Are we going to get out of the cabin? Oh my, did I just... I think I just beat him! Oh, <laughs> it's breaking the fourth wall. What the heck? What was that? That looked like video footage. I think this is the guy we heard at the start of the game. Cam works. Just, what's going on? What is going on? Wait, what? We've got video files. Holy crap, this is nuts. This is so weird. Okay. Let's check this one. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! <laughs> And here I'll add some crazy videos. It's like YouTube like videos. We opening Pokemon okay, cards. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? This game has some meta stuff going on right now. Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but Hey, it's a pretty one. All right, next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the, uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. This is so weird. Let's see what we got here. He's just making a video about cards. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. And our rare for this pack is... Bam Dog! Not exactly <laughs> riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come! It's got a phone call now. Just cut out this part. So, this guy is opening cards up. And this game is about cards. 
And we've got some video files that are looking like really creepy coming up. Let's keep going. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. Inscription you is the game name. Believe the deal I got. So, there's now, the connection. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks, so fingers crossed. It's another one of those haunted games, isn't it? The cards being haunted. Really cool art on these. Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. Cool looking card, but not going to be worth very much. All right, Let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Ah, uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. <laughs> Someone stole his best Sucks. card. You're not getting that shiny Charizard. Come on, people, honestly. Who opens and reseals a pack? Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. It's a trap. Don't go. It looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. <laughs> and he's going to go and check it out now, isn't he? And probably live to regret it. Okay. So the next one, he's in the forest. Let's watch this next video then. All right, you guys. I'm out here living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp. And shovel? Always come prepared, kids. Alright. Whew. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive waste of Oh, that is creepy. Guys, this is so cool. This is like um, like a ghost story or something hidden in the game. We've got one here just called Error. I don't even know. That's just a load of static. Yeah, this is like one of these, um, you know, like ARGs that you get on the internet, but in a game. All right. That's why he seems to be okay, always though. bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Oh, it's just his battery dying. Every okay. time. I don't think it was there, right? There's prepared. more to it than that. <sighs> Something tampered with his battery is what I think. Okay. That's a creepy looking card, by the way. Alright. This is it. And now, we dig. That's really bad digging. Who digs like that? Like, he's lucky he found anything. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But, only one way to find out. Whatever it is isn't buried very deep under the ground. What is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. What is that? <sighs> Pull it out, man. I want to know what that is. Hey, yeah, what is that? A floppy disk. Inscription. 
What? So it's like a game within a game, like a haunted game. It's just like Pony Island a game. What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, are you seeing this? I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. I would be really weirded out if that happened. <laughs> Not just confused, I'd be like creeped out. So now he's going to boot it up, I'm guessing, right in the next video. Let's have a look. We've got two more to watch. He's going to have to go on eBay and get himself a floppy disk drive for 11 bucks. I'm sorry if it sounds like really quiet in this part, guys, but you've got subtitles at least. Wow, great video! Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Needless video. What's the last one? Okay! Time to figure out what's on this thing. It's gonna boot up. Is this like the ending to the game? I don't know if it can be, because we've only got... <gasps> the intro screen that we went to. Press any button to start. Look at that, it's just like our intro screen. No new game. You have to continue. So weird. So we're like inside the game that he got. Now we go back. Stop browsing footage. Yeah, I guess so. And there we go. We're back in the room with the uh, creepy guy. I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, you are worthy. Please, do not be polite. Dig in. What the heck is that? Like, it looks like crap. Literally. Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. I want to escape. Surely we can use our film reel now. Like, get the camera off him or something. Stand right there. Grab the camera. Yes. Load the film. Who gave you that? Nice. Screw you, you absolutely great. What happened? Did we get him? Yeah, we took the picture. And he's turned into a card. Look, we transformed him into a card, so he's, his soul is now trapped here. I thought he actually got us then. I don't think we can go back in there. And the new game icon is there. Okay, so now we're starting the new game. This is weird. Um, I don't get this. How do we get out? Do we have to exit? Maybe exit to the main menu. Alter deck. Let's go to the start screen. Yeah, look, new game. So continue, maybe takes us back to where we just were, but now we can select new game and pop it in there. Guys, I'm not actually going to do that in this video though, because this video has been really long. So in the next video, when you come back to watch the next part, we're going to see what happens next. Sorry to tease you, but you know, this has been a long video. And so in tomorrow's video, we're going to continue this game and we're going to find out what lies behind the new game icon. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've been enjoying Inscription, leave me a like down below, comment, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you all on the next one.